Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the best methods for hunting chucker without a dog. Yep, this is one of the most requested topics we get for a video. So I will start out by saying we do recommend that you hunt with a dog. That is the best way to be successful while chucker hunting. But if you don't have a dog, you can still be successful, and here's how. So the first tip for hunting chucker without a dog is to walk slow. And what I mean by that is to slow down and really work an area well. When you hunt with a dog, the dog has the ability to sort of move all around and it may go on point, you know, 100 yards down the hill, 200 yards up the hill. And those are birds that if you were by yourself, you would never walk through. And so a covey of birds may be really close to you and you might walk right by them without a dog. So the tip for hunting when you're alone or even with, your, with somebody else but you don't have a dog is to walk slow through an area, make sure you're, you're covering that area well, you know, traverse across the hillside back and forth. You really have to cover that area hard if you're gonna get birds up without a dog. Absolutely, and you know, a lot of people think that chucker hunting is a race to the top. They know that these birds like the steep country, so they think I just gotta walk to the top and that's where I'm gonna find the birds. And you know, a lot of times there are birds up high, but sometimes the birds are lower, uh, they're in the bottoms of ravines. I mean, you never really know where the chucker are gonna be. So you wanna just make sure to take it slow. You don't have to run to the top. And if you come into an area where you're seeing chucker sign, that's where you wanna start really focusing because that's your greatest indicator that there are birds in the area. So you might not be at the top, you might be halfway up, but all of a sudden you see some tracks then you got to start zigzagging, going slow, and really working the area where birds have been. The second tip for being successful chucker hunting without a dog is find tracks. So tracks are proof that chucker have been in the area recently. You might come across chucker droppings and they'll be green and moist, and you'll think the chucker have been there recently, but there's a lot of variables there. Uh, if the weather's been rainy or the, the frost in the morning has kept them moist, so they're not as good as seeing tracks. When you see tracks, you know birds have been in the area pretty recently. Yeah, that's right. And because that's a key indicator, you sort of want to tailor the days you go hunting and the places you go hunting to maximize your ability to see the tracks. So what I mean by that is a snow day. Snow days are a, a chucker hunter's best friend when you don't have a dog. Even if the snow is a few days old or even if it's a week old, at least you know the chucker have been in that area within the last few days. Um, the other thing we like to look for is location. Um, some of you guys that have been chucker hunting before or veteran chucker hunters, you know that the different terrain styles lend themselves better to the showing of tracks. Um, so the best example of that would probably be if you're in an area with granite outcrops, you're probably going to see more tracks because that granite decomposes, the dirt is softer, and you can see the, the chucker impressions much better. Whereas some of like the rim rock style uh, that's common to Nevada where we hunt, the dirt is not as soft in those areas. And so when conditions are dry, even though chucker may have been there previously, you may not see the tracks. Um, so snow days and areas where tracks show easily, those are places you wanna look for when hunting without a dog. And a lot of times you'll be out hunting and you know, part of the hills have burned off. So you've got some hill with snow, some without, and you might find yourself walking on the side of a hill that doesn't have the snow because it's easier. That's a great way to get up the hill, but you'll want to walk over to the snow and see if, if there's tracks in there, especially right in the bottom as you cross the threshold. It'll at least give you an indication of chucker in the area. They might be in the area with no snow, but they probably walked through some of the patches on the north facing side of the mountain. The third tip for hunting chucker without a dog is to focus on the most likely areas. Now when you're out chucker hunting with a dog, I mean chucker country is vast. And with a dog, you know, the dog may catch a scent, take you all around the mountain, downhill, uphill, places you never would have walked because they can smell the birds. But without a dog, you don't have that luxury. So you need to find those spots that look like they will hold chucker, or most likely to hold chucker, and you need to focus on those areas and hit them hard. Otherwise, you're just gonna be out wandering around all day and you might be missing those birds. And so this kind of goes back to the first tip where we said, you know, walk slow and work an area. You wanna find those areas right off the bat that look the best for holding birds, and you wanna hammer those hard. And these areas that are gonna be likely for chucker, these are gonna be areas that have good feed, you know, green grass coming up, water nearby, and some rocky areas where the chucker can uh, flee if they're in danger. 
Um, so you're not going to find them in the rocks all the time, you know, unless you push them there. Most of the time they're going to be, you know, out on a slope, uh, feeding, and that's where you're going to want to look for these birds. If you've got an area that's got food, water, and cover, you're in an area that's likely going to hold some birds. And to Reed's point about water, uh, if you're hunting chucker in the early season, the water is your friend. You know, you want to hunt near the water. If it's really hot, the birds, they're not going to be on the water, but they can't get too far away. Uh, as this, it gets later in the season, that's not going to work as well, uh, but you can start using the snow to your advantage. So if you're in an area with heavy snow, but some of those south-facing slopes start burning off and start showing some of that grass coming up, that's going to be a great place for you to find chucker. All right, so tip number four for how to be successful chucker hunting without a dog is to go with someone that has a dog. So this can be really helpful because it kind of goes back to our third tip about knowing which areas to focus on. So if, you're, if you go with someone with a dog, you can watch that dog and see where that dog goes, where the birds get up, where it goes on point, and that can really help you learn the behavior of chucker. If you've never been chucker hunting before, it might be hard to kind of identify those areas. But if you go out a few times with a dog, uh, you can really just become a student of the dog and that'll really help you in your next few hunts. Yep, and as an aside to that guys, going with someone that has a dog um, has some other effects as well. If you're just getting into chucker hunting and you really like it, um, you know, you may not have a dog right away and you may enjoy just getting out there and, and that's what this video is all about is helping you guys be successful if you don't have a dog or don't have a dog yet. Um, but one of the advantages of going with someone with a dog is you can see what it's like to hunt chucker over a dog, which, you know, as Jordan and I have talked about in many videos, is one of our favorite parts of chucker hunting is seeing the dogs work and hunting over those dogs. But um, going with someone gives you a chance to observe a dog and, and understand what hunting with a dog is like, maybe even see what kind of dog you might like once you get to that point where, um, you know, you want to get a dog for chucker hunting. All right, guys, the fifth and final tip for hunting chucker without a dog is mark your birds. It's hard to find a chucker while it's alive when you don't have a dog, but a lot of times it's even harder to find a chucker after you've shot it. It's really easy to wound a chucker. Chucker are hardy birds. You know, a, a chucker that you think went down stone cold can run. Um, and without a dog, it's gonna be really hard to find those birds. Um, so when you shoot a bird without a dog, you really wanna make sure that you know where that bird went down and you wanna to get to that spot quickly. This is an ethical part of being a chucker hunter as well, because if you shoot two birds without a dog, the odds of you finding both of those birds, especially in you know thick cover or steep terrain, are pretty low. For any of you guys that have hunted chucker before, you know when a covey gets up, there's a lot going on, you know, and as you're shooting, taking the time to mark that bird, you know, when everything's going on and, and there's chaos all around you, uh, it can be a, a hard thing to do. So. Um, our advice is to make sure you find the birds you shoot rather than trying to shoot two birds and not being able to find any of them. So equally important when you're marking your birds is to mark where you shot from. Because a lot of times you'll go look for your birds, you won't be able to find them, and then you'll start questioning things. You'll say, did I, uh, was it here or was it here? And it's really nice to be able to go back right to where you were shooting and relive the experience again say ah i was in the wrong spot it was a little further down the hill and if you don't mark it from experience you will not find that spot again it is really tough you really gotta you know you can set up some rocks you can you know get some references you can drop a point on onyx where you shot um, and it's just it's great to be able to come back and reassess another thing to keep in mind when you're marking your birds is the terrain that you're shooting the birds in so for those of you that have been chucker hunting you know that there's cliffs, there's hills, and a lot of times when you shoot a bird, it's not gonna land 30 yards out right in front of you. It's gonna be over a cliff, over a hill, and you gotta be aware of which way that chucker's flying. I mean, it's, it's flying up over this cliff at 12.4 miles per hour. That is the top speed of a chucker. Go ahead and Google that, because I did, um, just to make sure. So it's flying at 12.4, 12.5, if it's a robust chucker. And it's going to sail really far over a cliff. And so you might end up recovering your chucker 100 yards away uh, in some cases if he's high enough and the cliff is steep enough. So that's something to be aware of uh, as well when you don't have a dog to kind of bridge that gap for you. Well, guys, we hope these tips help you become a more successful chucker hunter without a dog. And Jordan and I have talked a lot on this video and other videos about how much we like hunting with a dog. But when we first got into chucker hunting for the first few years we did it, we did it without a dog. So we know that it can be difficult sometimes. So hopefully this video does give you guys some help.
And if you guys do have any other questions about chucker hunting without a dog, feel free to put them in the comments and we'll do our best to answer them for you. If you did find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that like button. Thanks for watching.